Well, here goes nothing. Welcome to episode one of Access. I'm Justin James, and I want to welcome you to my space. Hey there, it's Justin James. Welcome to Access. Access is a new concept video series that um, I've just begun, and obviously this is the first episode. And what we're doing with this is we're diving deep into everything that has to do with electronic music within the studio. Our first theme is called Spaces, and I want to welcome you to my space, Refuse Studios. So today what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you on a little walk through my studio and show you the different devices that I use, hardware, software, and some other things that we have in here too. So uh, let's go check it out. Okay, here we are at the left hand side of the desk. This is kind of like the pioneer zone. First and foremost, I have the Torres Squid sequencer, and that's sending a lot of uh, information out to a few um, devices in the studio. But two on the side that it's uh, talking to. Number one is the Torres SP16 sampler. I use this for a lot of um, drum type sounds and chopping up other samples. And next to that is the Torres AS1, it's a um, synthesizer. I love it for bass lines. Right above that, it's the TR8S um, by Roland. And it's a, obviously a drum machine. It's uh, kind of got the best of both worlds from uh, kind of the analog and digital worlds. And uh, it's, a, it's a great, great piece of machinery. Next to that, we have the ASM Hydrosynth. It's probably my newest in the studio. And uh, so far, it's something that I'm really falling in love with. And I look to uh, get deeper into it real soon. Okay, now we're at the center of my desk. From left to right here, we have the Rode NT1A microphone, the MIDI Fighter Twister, which is a MIDI controller, and I use that to control different uh, parameters inside my digital audio workstation. Then I have Machina. This is Machine 3, and uh, it's a drum machine and we, uh, made by Native Instruments, and it's a, soft, it's a hardware controller that controls a software instrument, and I use this for writing quick drums, and it's pretty amazing. Next to this, we have Ableton Push, which is the main controller for my digital audio workstation, which is Ableton. And uh, this is my keyboard, my drum machine, my everything. It, it allows you to control every single parameter inside of Ableton. Ableton itself, as I said, is my digital audio workstation. This is where I record and program all my music. And uh, I happen to be an Ableton certified trainer, one of a few in Canada. To my right here, I have the Squark Pyramid, and this is a sequencer that's quite similar to um, Pioneer Squid over here, um, with some, just with some different characteristics, and I use this to control a number of my drum machines and synthesizers in the studio. And right here, I have the Electron Rhythm, uh, the Electron Analog Rhythm. It's a drum machine. It's uh, been with me for a long time, and uh, it's a pretty, pretty special machine. So here we are on the right side of my desk now. We're gonna start here. Uh, something that's been with me uh, probably the longest out of anything in here is my Mackie Big Knob. And it's, uh, it's simply a volume uh, controller for the studio. You can route to different speakers, and but right now the main reason why I use this is solely as a, um, as a volume control. Next to that, um, basically the hub of everything is my, uh, my Mac Mini. I have a Mac Mini here, brand new Mac Mini and with an external hard drive um, to store a lot of data on it. And then from there, I have two line mixers here, two Roland M20, uh, M120 uh, line mixers. I have another one over there, and that's where I route all of my synthesizers through, R2, and then it goes from here, from these um, line mixers, into uh, uh, my Universal Audio Apollo, and Next to, next to my Apollo, I have uh, the satellite, the UAD2 satellite, which is giving me a little bit more processing. This is uh, primarily an audio interface, but it also acts as um, um, a host for a lot of plugins, for a lot of the stuff that I use inside Ableton. Um, and what it does is it takes a lot of the, the, the CPU usage and uses it down here. 
Okay, above them, I have one of my two Atom A77Xs, which are wonderful studio monitors. And they've been with me a, a few years now. Um, right underneath this, or right underneath them, I have the Syncussion S51. It's a, it's a, a clone of an old Pearl quasi drum machine. And this is newest too, made by one of my friends in Spain. And it's an amazing, amazing uh, piece of gear. Makes some really weird noises. Right next to that, I have my Dave Smith um, P12. And I talked about uh, earlier, I talked about the Dave Smith filters. This is one of Dave Smith's uh, synthesizers. Obviously it's the desktop version and sounds great. Next to that, I have my Complete Control S25. This is another MIDI controller, and I use this primarily to control things uh, inside of na the Native Instruments plugins, if I'm not using Ableton Push over here. And right next to this, a, a longtime friend of mine is the Access Virus TI. And this is obviously a, a synthesizer that has um, total integration, which means that it's not only a synthesizer here, but there's a software element that you can control everything and uh, it, it's pretty, pretty special. Now we're at my synth rack. We're gonna go from left to right and top to bottom. This is my one and only modular synth. It's the Roland System 500. Next to this, we have a uh, classic synth called the Roland SH-101. Below that, we have the Mini Moog Voyager. This sounds as big as it looks. Next to that, we have the Acid Lab Baseline. This is a clone of the Roland uh, 303, and it sounds very similar to the original. And below that, we have my favorite sets for pads and just for having fun with. It's a Juno 106, another classic synthesizer. Last but not least in my space is my DJ setup. This is typically what I'll bring to play in clubs throughout the world. It starts over here with my MacBook Pro. In my MacBook Pro, I'm running two programs, Tractor Pro and Ableton Live. Tractor Pro allows me to play multiple tracks at a time. You, could, you can consider this like my turntables or my uh, CDJs. In this case, I'm allowed to play four at a time over a mixer. This mixer is my mixer of choice. It's the Play Differently Model 1. It's a beautiful mixer that allows up to six channels of play, so I can have not only four channels here, but I can have channels coming from it elsewhere too. Um, all this is running through, all the audio is uh, being sent to the mixer through my Antelope Orion 32 Plus. This is my audio interface. It's a real special um, piece of machinery. This right here is my Ableton Push 1. Ableton Push 1 in this case is allowing me to control Ableton on my computer. And then right here to my right are my Zone K2s by Allen and Heath. And these are MIDI controllers that allow me to control parameters inside Tractor as well as some parameters inside Ableton. And finally, last but not least, are two things that are really important to me in this setup are my Pioneer headphones and my Electron Overhub, a great hub that I use in my studio as well um, that allows me to uh, send USB wherever I need to in the studio. And actually one more thing since we're here are the Oyeda cables um, by Neo. I have these in my live setup and in the studio they run everywhere and they're my favorite cables. Well, looks like that's a wrap for episode one of Access. I hope you enjoyed coming into my space. Please leave any comments on what you liked, what you think could be improved. I'm brand new to this and this is something I'm really working on, but I'm loving it so far. In future episodes, I'm going to go deeper into a lot of the hardware that I have here. And I might even borrow some hardware and showcase that. And also kind of dig deeper into a lot of software with some tips and tricks on everything. So, and not to mention my, my DJ setup. So, um, please leave a message about what you would like to see, you know, and uh, I'll make sure that I can get it. And uh, yeah, in order to do all that, please like, subscribe, ring the bell, all those things that you need to do to, and tell a friend to make sure you get to see more of these. Thank you so much.